بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویل ایز یو نو دیٹ الانگ ود دا لائیو کلاسز وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹیک یور آن لائن کلاسز ایز ویل سو دس لیکچر از دا پارٹ آف دوز لیکچرس سو فسٹ آف آل وی ہیو چوزن یونٹ نمبر ایٹ اینڈ دس از ایٹ پوائنٹ فورتھ پارٹ آف یونٹ نمبر ایٹ وچ از کنسسٹ آف رائٹنگ اینڈ دا ٹاپک آف دس phase is summarizing a poem so let's see what do we have to explore this portion poem miller of the day there dwelt a miller hail and bowl beside the river day he worked and sang from morn to night no lark more bird than he and this the burden of his song forever used to be i and my nobody no not i and nobody advise me Do you are wrong, my friend, said old King Hall. Do you are wrong as wrong can be. For could my heart be light as thine, I would get, gladly change with thee. And tell me now, what makes thee sing with voice so loud and free, while I am sad, though I am the king beside the river D. So, here, what the poet is saying there was a miller who used to run a mill and on the other hand there was a king who had the whole kingdom but even then the miller was a carefree person he was much happier than the king and he used to make comparison that since he did not have any wealth he did not have any fame but even then he was much more happier than the king because he used to work hard from morning to night and uh, he was even then he was the mo- the most happy happiest person of the area of the area and there was no burden on him though he used to work hard and he was thankful to the to the brewery as well because it was the one who used to help it out to run his mill and he used to sing a song that i and by nobody and nobody invites me that neither i am jealous of anyone nor i want anyone to be jealous of me but when the king heard of his words of or his song so he thought that the miller can be wrong because he used to the king used to think that he himself is in by of the uh, the miller because he had a lot of burden he had lot of things to do the king's heart was full of worries he was not as carefree as he wanted to be or as he used to see or he used to feel for the miller because he used to feel uh, feel the comfort the freeness which the miller used to enjoy the uh, the king never got this kind of opportunity to be free f- so lively so he used to get jealous of the miller and he used to ask it uh, why do you think that nobody is jealous of you i believe that i am the one who is jealous, jealous of you though i have all the kingdom and what do you have you only have a sim, uh, simple mill which is beside the river d right in the third stanza the poet says the miller smiled and doffed his cap i earn my bed kothi i love my wife i love my friend i love my children three i owe no penny i cannot pay i thank the river d that turns the mill that grinds the corn to feed my babes and me good friend said hall and <coughs> sorry and said the while farewell and happy be but say no more if though you you say true that no man and wise thee they mill cap is worth my crown they mill mill my kingdom's fee 
such men as though are uh, England's boast or Miller of the D. So here the king when he, uh, when he asks a question from the uh, from the Miller that why does he think that nobody is in why of him. So Miller smiled and doffed his cap and he says that I earn my bed. I do not ask anything from other. I believe on my skills i believe on my hard work i love my family members i love my wife i love my children i do not ask for anything from uh, from anyone which i cannot pay them back which i cannot repay repay and i'm thankful the people around me the things which support me so i am grateful to them and i also thank the river d because it is the one which provides me opportunity which does a lot of uh, work for me because it is the thing which turns my mill and that grinds the corn when the corn is ground then I sell the flour so gratefulness is also a, a topic or is also a, a blessing for the miller then the king got this idea that he is really happy person and he admires his effort and his will and says that okay farewell goodbye be happy because you are the one who really deserve have happiness but don't say that nobody is envy of you so because I can say that I am envy of you and I believe that your millet cap which is full of flour that is more valuable that is more precious than my crown although I am owning all the kingdom and your mill is much better than my whole kingdom and people like you who are brave who are honest who believe in themselves the England is proud of them and because you are the one who are the actual strength of England because people like you are actually the source are actually the asset of England so England and the king himself is proud of you O Miller of the D right so as you know that new book of English is mostly objective based it does not have many questions answered first of all you need to understand the difficult words or the new words which have been introduced in the book all the meanings of the words are given at the end of the books so you can simply copy them down from there right for instance there are words like dwelt means lived hale and bold means healthy and free from care blood means happy Free means free from cares and worries. Doffed his cap means removed or lifted the cap for greeting. Coat means said. Mele means covered with flour. They mill my kingdom's fee. Your mill is so precious that is equal to the price of my whole kingdom. Now when you talk about the central idea of the poem, so it can be said that the, uh, the, this poem has been written by Charles McKay. In this poem, the poet says that wealth and fame cannot make a man happy. A person like a miller is poor, but he works hard to earn bread for himself and his family and loves everyone. He can be happy and satisfied with his life. But the life of the king is always full and full of anxieties and worries. So the life of an honest worker is free from many desires and wants so he leads a carefree life as a comparison made between a king and an honest labor now simple home task is, is assigned to you first of all the difficult words which are given in the book you have to copy them down and have to find the meanings which are given at the glossary then in exercise 4 you have to write down the main idea of the poem 
write that you have to copy down in the in your copy right thank you